Hi, my name is Robert Steltman. Today I'm going to show you a routine to export pipes and structures, ponds, and catchment areas into PC Swim. The first thing we're going to do is rename our structures and pipes. This allows us to remove all spaces because we can't put that into our file format. So we just run that select one pipe on the structure or on the network and it will rename all of those pipes and manholes. Then we calculate storm areas. We select our pipe. Then we select up to three polylines that are associated with it and we place area circles and runoff coefficients. The area is a dynamic field and it will adjust as you change the size of your polyline or your catchment area. We also have some depression contours in this area and this we will export as ponds. The next thing we're going to do is go export. We select the pipe on the network. Uh, it prompts us for what rain gauge, what rain gauge we want to use, and so on. It then prompts us to pick our, uh, if we want to do ponding at the catch basins, we go enter, we select one contour on the surface, and then we pick our spill contour or the top of the contours and we can pick up to as many as required and we go enter it creates the file that we prompted we were selected for and I'll open up that file in PC swim here is our file open up in PC swim here's our catchment areas that we had going to each manhole that we had selected um, and then each one of these green ones is our ponding with our contours. Um, when you're done, you save any changes you want to make in PC Swim. Uh, you run your model, and then when it's done, you go back to Civil 3D and import the files. Here in uh, Civil 3D, we just select Import. We can uh, pick the pipe that it's on and then it will read that file and update it. So here's our file and it updates all the pipes and changes that we had made in PC Swim. Just another example of how Steltman software can make you more productive. Give us a call.